Alright, good morning all of you. Shut up. So, last session we talked about a very, very important concept the histology of the stomach and the histology of the intestine. And we ended with a nice logic called as bariatric surgery and how to reduce weight by a bariatric surgery. So, that was a nice topic we analyzed. Today we we'll talk about two vital glands in the body, your liver and your pancreas. Beautiful topic, please understand this well. The liver is the largest gland of the body. The liver is the largest gland of the body. Your thyroid gland is the largest endocrine gland of the body. And the liver is the largest exocrine gland. So what do you mean by this? Thyroid gland produces hormones, thyroxin. Liver produces bile, which is enzyme. Any gland which produces hormones is called as an endocrine gland. Any gland which produces enzymes is called as an exocrine gland. So which is the largest endocrine hormone producing gland? Thyroid. And which is the largest uh, enzyme producing exocrine gland? Your liver. So liver is the largest gland, is the largest exocrine gland. It is reddish brown in color. Full of blood vessels, it has a red brown color. The liver weighs around 1.5 kg in an adult. So, dead kilo ka aapka liver hota hai. The liver is located on the right side just below the diaphragm. Ye hai diaphragm, above it is the thorax, below it is the abdomen, and just below the diaphragm is located your liver. The liver is made up of two lobes. A choti si ligament hoti hai which will divide the liver into a small left lobe and a large right lobe. So liver by lobe hota hai, a small left lobe and a large right lobe of the liver are present. Liver produces bile juice which gets stored in a small bag like structure called as the gallbladder. Liver se banta hai bile and by it goes into the gallbladder or gallbladder way by it store ho jata hai. and the gallbladder contracts and by it is then given from the gallbladder into the intestine where by it will help in digestion of food so who produces by the liver but who stores the by gallbladder and when we eat food and food enters your small intestine, gallbladder will contract and bile will then enter the small intestine and help in digestion of food. So let's understand what are the functions of the liver. The liver produces bile which emulsifies fat and makes the food become alkaline. The liver produces bile Bile helps in the breakdown of fats. Breakdown of fats is scientifically called as emulsification. So liver se bile banta hai, jo deodorant intestine mein jaake fats ko breakdown karta hai. Hey, then if you have understood, mouth mein salivary amylase helps in breakdown of carbohydrates. Starch into maltose. In the stomach, pepsin helps in the breakdown of proteins. And in the liver, bile is produced which enters the intestine and helps in the breakdown of fats, which is called as emulsification of fats. And it also makes the food become alkaline. If you remember, stomach was very acidic. And from the stomach, food enters into the small intestine, into the duodenum and duodenum, I hope you remember last lecture, submucosa of the duodenum has in it Brunner's gland which produces mucus. 
and make the food become alkaline. Along with it, liver releases bile, which also helps the food to become alkaline. So stomach is acidic because of HCl. In the intestine, the food becomes alkaline because of Brunner's gland, which secrete mucus and bile which makes the food become alkaline. Liver also helps in storage of excess of glucose in the form of glycogen which is used during starvation. So, when we eat sugar rich food, whenever we have consumed carbohydrate rich food, carbohydrates get digested and get absorbed from the intestine and your blood sugar level will increase. The sugar is used by all the cells for producing energy. But if there is excess of glucose, then excess of glucose stimulates your pancreas and pancreas secretes insulin. And insulin transports the glucose from the blood into the liver and in the liver glucose is converted into glycogen. Simple glucose becomes complex glycogen and liver stores sugar in the form of glycogen. Now suppose you are not eating, you are starving and cells require energy then from your pancreas is secreted a hormone called as glucagon and glucagon hormone acts on the liver and breaks down complex glycogen back into simple glucose which is released from the liver into blood and your blood glucose level will increase which will supply energy to all the parts of your body. So when you have eaten rich, sugar rich food, insulin converts glucose into glycogen in the liver. When you are starving, glucagon from the pancreas reconverts glycogen back into glucose and your blood glucose levels will increase. When extra sugar is stored in the body, in the liver in the form of glycogen and the liver can the excessive amino acids are converted into ammonia by the process called as deamination sir hum log jab protein rich food khate hai proteins get digested and when proteins break down they form individual units which are called as amino acids and amino acids intestines se absorb hote hai and they go into the different cells of your body in the cells of your body are found ribosomes and ribosomes start taking amino acids and start forming chains of amino acids so amino acid ki chains banti hai which are called as proteins. So some jo muscle cell hai, the amino acids from the food that we eat goes into the muscle cells and ribosomes help in forming a protein called as actin and myosin which forms muscle protein. So uh, aise harik cell mein alag alag type ke protein banti hai. But golden birds, other cell ke andar amino acids from the protein we eat, protein get digested, amino acids are absorbed, they reach the cell and in the cell, in the cytoplasm, there are lots of amino acids and in the ribosome, amino acids start forming protein. Then that's excellent. Proteins are there in the cells and that will help the cell to perform its function. But all the amino acids do not form a protein. So what we have eaten is that all amino acids in a cell are not made of protein. Some amino acids form a protein, 
some amino acids remain free and free amino acids cannot be stored in a cell if a free amino acid is stored in a cell it will enter the mitochondria and interfere with krebs cycle ah, i hope you have heard of that in mitochondria sugar breaks down by a process called as krebs cycle and free amino acids enter the mitochondria and interfere with the krebs cycle so sugar cannot break down and energy cannot be produced and the cell may die so free amino acids are cytotoxic dangerous for a cell तो उस फ्री अमाइनो एसिड को सेल के बाहर निकाल दिया जाता है एंड फ्री अमाइनो एसिड गोज इन द ब्लड एंड बाय ब्लड इट विल सर्कुलेट डेंजर फ्री अमाइनो एसिड एंटर इन टू योर ब्रेन एंड फ्री अमाइनो एसिड आर टॉक्सिक टू योर न्यूरोक्स ब्रेन सेल्स को फ्री अमाइनो एसिड टॉक्सिक होते हैं so free amino acids are toxic to cell free amino acids are toxic to the brain to the neurons to the kya kya jaye they are taken into the liver and in the liver free amino acid is broken down into a substance called as ammonia so free amino acid is breakdown se banta hai ammonia Which is a process called as deamination. So deamination say amino acid gets broken into ammonia, but sir, ammonia is very dangerous. Ammonia to subset that are toxic. So liver may be ammonia NH3 combines with carbon dioxide. and one more nh3 ammonia with another ammonia combines with carbon dioxide or ammonia se ek hydrogen nikal jata hai dusre ammonia se ek hydrogen nikal jata hai and carbon dioxide se ek oxygen nikal jata hai and they Form H plus H plus O minus combine together to form water, and a molecule of water is formed, and NH two CO, and here there be H H bond, so NH two it forms NH two CO NH two, which is a substance called as urea. and the substance called as urea is produced and that is called as the ornithine cycle is process ko kya kehte hain ornithine cycle and by ornithine cycle urea ban jata hai liver ke andar from the liver urea is transported to your kidneys and kidneys mein water combines with urea and goes from the kidney via ureters into the urinary bladder and then the bladder contract and urine passes through the urethra carrying with it urea where it is this urea forms in the liver by what mechanism or mechanism cycle in which what happened two ammonia combined with one carbon dioxide to form nh2co nh2 which is urea where did the ammonia come from from breakdown of amino acid what is that process called deamination and why did deamination take place because free amino acids are toxic to your brain and our toxic in a cell to mitochondria to hum log jo bhi protein khate hai hamare intestine mein it breaks down to form amino acids 
सेल्स के अंदर अमाइनो एसिड फॉर्म चेन विच आर कॉल्ड एज प्रोटीन फ्री अमाइनो एसिड आर टॉक्सिक टू माइटोकॉन्ड्रिया दे इंटरफियर विथ करेक्ट साइकिल आउटसाइड द सेल दे आर टॉक्सिक टू द ब्रेन सो दे आर टेकन इन टू द लिवर वेर फ्री अमाइनो एसिड अंडरगोज डी अमाइनेशन टू फॉर्म द अमोनिया Ammonia combines with two ammonia combines with one carbon dioxide to form urea by a cycle called the ornithine cycle, and from the liver, ammonia, which is converted into urea, is taken into the kidneys and is excreted out. So good, you have understood the logic of excretory system also. ये भी अच्छा point है, बहुत ध्यान से याद रखना. We are going to do later excretory system. So, our body has excretory system. Why? To remove the urea, which are waste products, nitrogenous waste products. Where is urea formed in the liver? Where does urea come from? Ammonia. Where is ammonia formed from? Amino acids. By what mechanism ammonia is formed? By deamination. And how is urea formed by a cycle called the ornithine cycle? Nice point, please remember. And liver also synthesizes vitamin A, vitamin B, vitamin K, and vitamin B12. All these are important vitamins in your body, and A, B, K, and B12 are produced in the liver. Liver produces black proteins like prothrombin and fibrinogen, which are formed in the liver. If you have heard of it, prothrombin and fibrinogen helps in the process of clotting. Whenever you get a cut, blood comes out and platelets produce a chemical called as thrombokinase, and thrombokinase. Convert blood protein prothrombin into thrombin, and thrombin activates lots of clotting factors, and 13 clotting factors to be precise. After thrombin activates 13 clotting factors, 13 clotting factor acts on a protein called as fibrinogen. And convert it into fibrin. Fibrin ocean का fibrin बन जाता है. Fibrin threads the form longitudinally and latitudinally, and they form a wire mesh. जैसे हमने सीखा था ना, seminal fluid has fibrin ocean and on ejaculation it forms a wire mesh. वैसे ही blood से भी fibrin ocean होता है. And the fibrinogen from the wire mesh, or in this case, platelets attach jate hai, and that is scientifically called as a blood clot. So blood clot ho jata hai, leaking of more blood is prevented. Where are all these clotting factors? Thirteen of them. Where is prothrombin? Thirteen clotting factors. Fibrinogen produced. They are all produced in the liver. They are sub liver related, and the liver produces red blood cells during early embryonic stage and works as a hematopoietic organ. So hemato means blood, poietic means to produce. So we have hematopoietic means to produce blood, to produce red blood cells. In a growing fetus, the liver produces red blood cells. Uh, do you remember in circulation and uh, sorry in reproduction we had learned the developing yolk sac produces RBC. तो सबसे पहले योग सैक से आरबीसी आते हैं और बाद में जब लिवर बन जाता है लिवर में से फीटस के आरबीसी आते हैं तो फीटल आरबीसी आर मेड बाय द लिवर एंड हेल्थ इट इज कॉल्ड एज द हिमाटोपॉइटिक ऑर्गन 
and the liver has in it kapher cells which digest old RBC. So, adults may ulta hota hai. Fetus may liver se RBC bante hai. Adults may bone marrow produces RBC. And these RBCs go from bone marrow into your blood and RBC has a lifespan of 120 days. After 120 days, the RBC becomes old and it is taken into your liver and in the liver there are special cells which are called as Kupfer cells. And Kupfer cells phagocytose the old RBC or RBC toda jata hai usme se nikalta hai hemoglobin or hemoglobin se heme yani iron liver se vapas bone marrow me transfer kiya jata hai which is used again by the bone marrow for producing new hemoglobin and Globin naam ka ek protein reh jata hai which gets converted into bilirubin. I hope you have heard of it. Bilirubin is produced from globin. So once again, in the liver, Kupfer cells, phagocytose, old RBC. Usme se nikalte hai hemoglobin. Hemoglobin breaks down to form heme and globin. Heme or iron is transferred back from the liver into the bone marrow where it is reused for forming new hemoglobin. And globin protein gets converted into bilirubin. And bilirubin aapke liver se secret hota hai. And it goes into kidneys and is excreted out in the urine Bilirubin gives your urine its pale yellow color. So urine ka color yellow hota hai. Where did that yellow color come from? Bilirubin. And where was bilirubin made from? Globin. And where did globin come from? Hemoglobin. Where did hemoglobin come from? Breakdown of RBC. Who helps in the breakdown of RBCs? Special cells which are called as Kupfer cells in the liver digest the old RBCs. Chal, so lots of functions of the liver, very versatile organ, very important gland of the body. Let's now do a cut section that is the histology of the liver. The liver on its histology, ye hai liver on its histology, its cut section shows that it is covered externally by a capsule and that capsule is called as the glycine capsule. Liver mein a capsule hota hai called as the glycine capsule. And glycine capsule is a white fibrous connective tissue. White fibrous connective tissue and it will enter the liver inside and start forming many hexagon shaped units. So liver may glycine capsule ke aise bohat sare hexagon shaped units batte hai which are called as Hepatic lobules. In a kya kehte hai? Hepatic lobules. So hepatic lobules are formed in the liver hexagon shaped units. And a liver has in it an artery which is called as hepatic artery. And hepatic artery brings in blood. Blood enters the liver through the hepatic artery and it comes out of the liver a vein which is called as the hepatic vein. So hepatic artery brings in blood, hepatic vein takes away the blood. And for what we have the stomach 
and then we have the intestine और intestine में जो भी food digest होता है is absorbed by capillaries and capillaries unite to form a vessel and that vessel enters the liver and again forms capillaries and releases all the digested food in the liver such a vessel is called as the hepatic portal vessel what is that called as a hepatic portal vessel or a hepatic portal vein कहते हैं normally you have arteries forming capillary capillaries forming vein तो artery vessel capillary and vein vessel vessel capillaries vessel is called as a blood vessel अब इसका एग्जैक्टली उल्टा कैपिलरी वेसल कैपिलरी इज कॉल्ड एज द पोर्टल वेसल तो इंटरस्ट्राइक में हु एब्सॉर्ब द फूड कैपिलरी व्हाट इज कैपिलरी इज यूनाइट टू फॉर्म वेसल एंड व्हाट इज वेसल ऑन एंटरिंग द लिवर अगेन फॉर कैपिलरी सो व्हाट इज सच अ स्ट्रक्चर कॉल्ड एज capillaries vessel capillaries is called as the portal vessel and this is called as the hepatic portal vein so what is this called as the hepatic portal vein and sir agar hum ek lobule ko dhyan se dekhe if we focus exclusively on a lobule to so, sir lobule ke andar हमारा अपियरेंस ये ऐसा होता है दिस इज वन हिपैटिक लोब्यूल इन द सेंटर ऑफ द लोब्यूल इज फाउंड अ वेन दैट वेन इज कॉल्ड एज द सेंट्रल वेन तो देर इज अ वेन व्हिच इज कॉल्ड सेंट्रल वेन फ्रॉम द सेंट्रल वेन अराइज लिवर सेल्स and liver cells are in the form of cords as a cords hote hain and liver cells are called as hepatocytes liver is called hepato and cells of the liver are called as hepatocytes and hepatocytes ke as a continuous cords hote hain and in between hepatic cords are found empty spaces which are called as sinuses what are the empty spaces called as sinuses so it sinus hota hai and at the corners of the hepatic lobules are found areas which are called as portal area ये एरिया को क्या कहते हैं पोर्टल एरिया पोर्टल एरिया हैज इन इट बहुत ध्यान से सुनना है पोर्टल एरिया हैज इन इट आर्टरी का ब्रांच विच इज कॉल्ड हिपैटिक आर्टरी सो दिस इज द हिपैटिक आर्टरी एंड इट हैज गॉट अ वेन का ब्रांच विच इज कॉल्ड एज द हिपैटिक पोर्टल वे हिपैटिक पोर्टल वे हिपैटिक पोर्टल वे एंड इट इज गॉट कैपिलरीज विच आर कॉल्ड एज बाई डक तो ये है बाई डक एंड देर आर vessels which are called as lymph vessels to ye kaun sa vessel hai lymph vessels lymph vessels and bahut dhyan se sir har ek portal area mein kya kya hai sir char structure there is an artery which is called hepatic artery there is a vein which is called as 
hepatic portal vein there is a duct which is called as the bile duct and there is lymph vessel so once again what is this artery called as hepatic artery what is this vein called as hepatic portal vein what is this uh, other structure called as uh, i'm so sorry uh, what is this other structure called as bile capillary we have bile capillary and so you have hepatic artery you have hepatic portal vein you have bile capillary and you have a structure called as the uh, so sorry i was wrong yeah uh, hepatic artery hepatic portal vein and lymph vessel so so sorry so you have hepatic artery hepatic portal vein you have bile duct and you have lymph vessel once again over here here you have hepatic artery you have hepatic portal vein you have bile capillary and you have lymph vessel so how are these four structures for liver ke andar hepatic artery aati hai hepatic artery forms branches and each branch of the hepatic artery enters into a portal area so hepatic artery ka ek branch portal area mein aata hai portal area mein hepatic artery ka ek branch aata hai also hepatic portal vein enters the liver and forms branches so each portal area has a branch of the hepatic portal vein so hepatic portal vein ka ek ek branch yahan aa jata hai and along with blood vessels there are always lymph vessels blood jab bhi oozs out hota hai usme se lymph banta hai so there are vessels which are called as lymph vessels and bahut dhyan se from the liver cells which are called hepatocytes from the liver cells called hepatocytes so here also we have liver cells which are called as hepatocytes from the hepatocytes you have capillaries which are called as bile capillaries what are the capillaries called as bile capillaries and these bile capillaries unite together to form a duct which is called as bile duct to so liver cell pe bile banta hai when bile produced in the liver and where will it go from liver cells or hepatocytes by bile capillaries into ducts which are called as bile ducts तो बाई कैपिलरी से बाई डक के अंदर ये कैपिलरी पास ऑन होती है ना बहुत ध्यान से ब्लड विल एंटर द किड द लिवर थ्रू द हिपैटिक आर्टरी थ्रू हिपैटिक पोर्टल वे एंड एंटर इन टू द पोर्टल एरिया फ्रॉम हिपैटिक आर्टरी ब्लड विल एंटर into the empty space which is called as sinuses from the hepatic portal vein the blood will enter into empty space which is called as sinuses and blood from hepatic artery and hepatic portal vein the blood sinuses pe jayega and via sinuses blood enter into the central vein so where is blood entered into hepatic artery hepatic portal vein into sinuses from hepatic artery hepatic portal vein into sinuses and where will all the blood from the sinuses enter into from the sinuses the blood will enter into the central vein and from central vein of all hepatic lobules the blood will collect together and go into the major vein which is called as the hepatic vein so once again when blood entered the hepatic artery when blood entered the hepatic portal vein 
from hepatic artery and hepatic portal way when will the blood enter into the portal area portal area say when will blood enter now into empty spaces which are called as sinuses and from sinuses when will the blood now enter into central vein and central vein say when will all the blood go into hepatic vein so blood has entered from artery into sinuses from sinuses into vein which means normally blood enters from artery into capillaries from capillaries into vein yaha blood has entered from artery into sinuses and sinuses say into vein and that means there are no capillaries liver is that organ of the human body which has no blood capillaries the blood rather flows from artery into vein through empty spaces which are called as sinuses there are capillaries but which are those capillaries by capillaries by capillaries hoti hai but blood capillaries nahi hoti hai blood capillaries nahi hoti hai rather there are empty spaces which are called as sinuses and blood enters from hepatic artery and hepatic portal way into sinuses then into the central vein and from central vein it comes out as the hepatic vein so this is blood circulation within the liver and so blood ke andar kya kya pass hota hai uh, hepatic artery brings in free amino acid so free amino acid in the liver cell will undergo deamination to form ammonia undergo organic cycle to form urea and that urea will enter into central vein and by central vein enter the hepatic vein and will go into the liver into the kidney and will get excreted out uh, hepatic artery will bring in the uh, amino acids and amino acid enter into the sinusoid sinuses enter into the liver cells and amino acids are used to form prothrombin fibrinogen and other word protein synthesis takes place in the liver cell uh, hepatic portal way brings in the sugar and hepatic portal way brings in sugar which is digested in intestine and all the extra sugar is taken into the liver cell hepatocyte and in the liver cell sugar is converted into glycogen so liver cell ke andar kya kya hota hai deamination hota hai uh, prothrombin thrombin clotting factors फाइब्रिनोजन के प्रोटीन्स बनते हैं ग्लूकोज का ग्लाइकोजन बनता है एंड ऑल दिस इज देन रिलीज इन द सेंट्रल वे एंड वाय सेंट्रल वे इट विल गो आउट एज द हेपैटिक वे एट दिस पॉइंट समथिंग नाइस योर सर देर आर साइनोसॉइ साइनोसॉइ आर एंटी स्पेसिस उनके अंदर होते हैं फ्रीली सर्कुलेटिंग सेल विच आर कॉल्ड एट आई होप यू रिमेंबर कप्फर सेल एंड कप्फर सेल इफ यू रिमेंबर फैगोसाइटो ओल्ड आर डीसीज तो हिपैटिक वेन से टिक आर्टरी से अंदर ब्लड आता है और ब्लड जैसे ही हिपैटिक आर्टरी से साइनोसॉइड में जाता है ओल्ड आरबीसीज और
are called as bite up. So, from the hepatocytes or liver cells, bile is produced, it will enter by bile capillaries into the duct which is called as bite up. And all the bile from each and every portal area is now transferred into the intestine. Intestine may bile will help it break down of fats which is called as emulsification. So how will this bile move forward? The bile aage kaise jaya? Sir, bile will pass by a beautiful system. So once again, bahut dhyan se, where has bile been produced? Bile has been produced by hepatocyte liver cells. It has gone into the bile duct by capillaries which are called as bile capillaries and bile capillaries will now pass like this. Sir, ye hai liver or liver ke andar ye hai hepatic lobules. Hepatic lobules ke beech mein ye hai portal areas. Ye hai central vein. Ye hai hepatocyte. And bile capillaries pass the bile into the bile duct. Bile capillaries pass bile into bile duct. Bile ducts unite together to form something called the left hepatic duct. Left lobe of liver say all the bile enters into ducts which are called as left hepatic ducts. Similarly from all portal areas bile passes into a duct which is called as right hepatic duct. And from left hepatic duct and right hepatic duct all the bile will now enter into a duct which is called as the common hepatic duct. So once again bile has entered from liver cells, sinus from liver cells by bile capillary into portal area. From portal area it has gone into left hepatic duct and the right hepatic duct. And left hepatic duct and right hepatic duct open to form a duct which is called as the common hepatic duct. So what is the duct form called as the common hepatic duct? Common hepatic duct say bile will now enter into a duct which is opening into the gallbladder and gallbladder may ye bile store kiya jata hai. Gallbladder has a duct which is called as the cystic duct. What is the duct of the gallbladder called as the cystic duct? So you have gallbladder duct which is called as the cystic duct. So once again, where is bile entered from? Cells into bile capillary, into portal area, via portal area into left hepatic duct and right hepatic duct which has joined to form the common hepatic duct and common hepatic duct the bile will flow into cystic duct and store in the gallbladder. Now, when you eat a fatty food, aapne kuch tala hua masta khaya, it will enter into your duodenum. From stomach into duodenum, gallbladder will contract and bile is given into the cystic duct which will then join the common hepatic duct to form a duct which is called as the common bile duct. So what is the duct called as? Common bile duct. And common bile duct will now carry the bile down. And common bile duct join a duct coming from the pancreas. Pancreas se 
डक्ट आता है विच इज कॉल्ड एज द टैंक्रियाटिक डक्ट एंड टैंक्रियाटिक डाक ज्वाइन द कॉमन बाइल डाक टू फॉर्म अ डाक विच इज कॉल्ड एज द हिपैक्टो टैंक्रियाटिक डाक हिपैक्टो टैंक्रियाटिक डाक एंड हिपैक्टो टैंक्रियाटिक डाक opens into the duodenum it opens into the duodenum guarded by a sphincter and that sphincter is called as the sphincter of odai sphincter of odai so now by as well as pancreatic juice will both form the hepatopancreatic duct and by sphincter of odai enter into the duodenum by the help of emulsification of fat pancreatic juice will help in digestion of food and that is the way the two glands help in digestion so ye please yaad rakhna all of you once again we we'll talk about this and we'll take a break liver cells produce bile bile enters by bile capillaries into portal area portal area mein it forms a bile duct bile ducts from all the portal areas join to form the left hepatic duct and the right hepatic duct left hepatic duct and right hepatic duct Joined to form the common hepatic duct. Common hepatic duct passes by by cystic duct into gallbladder. When food enters the duodenum, gallbladder contracts and bile enters by cystic duct and joins the common hepatic duct to form the common bile duct. Common bile duct. Join the pancreatic duct to form the hepatopancreatic duct, and hepatopancreatic duct opens into the duodenum, guarded by a sphincter, which is called as sphincter of Kolar. 